Hello everybody, my name is Acheda McDuffie, aka AJ McDuffie, and I completed my first day of medical school. Uh, so today was pretty easy, it was just kind of an introduction, um, just kind of a idea, a brief idea on what we're going to do for the semester. So currently I'm going to school at the American University of Antigua, AUA, which is a, a Caribbean medical school, but because of everything going on, we are taking, a lot of us are taking our classes online, remote and virtually. So I am super excited to be a medical student. I still can't believe it. Um, it, it, it didn't really hit me yet, <laughs> necessarily that I'm in medical school, but today was pretty good. I'm really excited. I am a little nervous. But today was definitely, I think, an easy day compared to, you know, what I thought a first day of medical school was going to be like. So one thing I do want to express that just because um, someone's going to a Caribbean medical school doesn't mean that the work is easier. It's still tough. You know, we still have a lot that we're going to go over this week. I know later on today I'm going to start with my notes. I'm going to start reading. I am going to start prepping for tomorrow. So I am excited, but I also know that, you know, studying and preparing for medical school is literally a full-time job. So, you know, where people work 40 hours a week, you know, we have to study and, you know, do homework and everything. That's going to be well over 40 hours a week. But you know, despite being a medical student, you know, making sure that I definitely get my rest, you know, take a little bit of time out for my side hustles. I don't have a full-time job. Unfortunately, I had to leave my job, but that is a sacrifice that I'm totally willing to make to become a doctor. So one thing that I'm looking forward to is definitely the bonds that I'm making with students already. So a lot of us, we message each other on WhatsApp and Microsoft Teams and social media like that. And I feel like with everything going on, you know, even though we're remote and we haven't met each other in person yet, we're still creating that bond. We're all kind of in this together. You know, we're all sharing tips and ideas with each other. And another thing I'm definitely looking forward to is being able to adjust to medical school at home compared to, you know, having to go to Antigua. So definitely having that transition at home first, especially since I completed my master's program from home. I think it'll definitely be an easier way for me to kind of transition and prep for my next set of classes uh, when I go to the island next semester. So the only uh, strenuous thing I found so far was I don't have like a passport or anything like that. So it's like I'm planning classes while also getting my financial aid together and also, you know, getting my passport together and all that good stuff as well. But the thing I'm really looking forward to the most is really giving myself that second chance and I, I'm really excited about being at AUA because um, I know in undergrad I definitely struggled a lot and I had a lot on my plate with school and work and extracurricular activities so now I know what to do and what not to do so you know right now I have my um, jewelry business so you know when I go to Antigua when I'm at the school I know that I can't join a million clubs you know if I join any clubs at all it'll be have to probably be like one club and that's it another thing that I'm looking forward to is now I know how to study because I struggled a lot with trying to balance everything and juggle everything I was trying to do everything now I know how to study I know what tips work what tips didn't work. I know for me, I'm more of a kinesthetic learner than anything. So I like activities that allow me to like touch and to 
you know, not stay in my seat. So, you know, if I'm like drawing stuff out or practicing stuff in my head, that definitely works for me the best. I have guinea pig hair on me. <laughs> I don't want you guys to think I was weird for having a whole bunch of hair. It's my guinea pig's hair. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. Um, this semester for the first month or five weeks, we are doing foundations. So kind of like a brief overview, but from what I've heard from past students, even at other medical schools that even though it's kind of like a review, it's still kind of, it's very, um, it's speed up. So <laughs> you kind of keep up with that pace. So, you know, definitely taking some time out to read today. Very excited. And, you know, definitely relaxing. Just thanking God for letting me get this far in my career. I just finished my master's program about two months ago. And after I finished that, I got right on to finishing up my medical school applications. Then in, August, in July, so about a month after finishing up my master's program, I went straight into medical school. So yay, I'm really excited. And I'm gonna keep on hustling, selling my jewelry, because my goal is to graduate medical school in four years, debt free. I'm going to make it happen. Just y'all wait and see. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you again for watching. And I can't wait to bring you guys some more cool and updated information about how medical school is going from home. But the best part is definitely being able to kind of just relax and not have to go back and forth to classes or my dorm room. I can just kind of stay in my place with my parents and my guinea pig and my birds and make the best of it. All right, thank you guys. I gotta get all this guinea pig hair off of me. <laughs> Bye guys.